Hello, my name is Russ Fustino, Technical Evangelist for Algorand, and I'm very excited to announce that the Algorand Betanet is now available for public testing and feedback. And what I'll show you today is how to install the Algorand Betanet. So why Betanet? Betanet is necessary because our vision for testnet is to have the protocol mirror mainnet at all times, although without algos or other assets carrying real value. As such, developers can confidently view Testnet as a stable and public testing ground for their applications before deploying them to mainnet. So the Algorand Betanet network is now available in a place where you can access the newest protocol level features. This provides a great opportunity for the community to get involved early and help shape features before they go live in Testnet and mainnet. As the name suggests, Betanet is meant to be a beta-like environment, thus the quality and features may not be final, and protocol upgrades and network restarts may be common. So let's go ahead and do a demo here on how to install Betanet. We do have a link to the uh, getting started on Betanet in our doc site. First, we're going to create a node directory. If you haven't already done so, download the node software and then uh, go ahead and start upgrading it to Betanet. So we'll, we'll show you how to update the node software, switch networks, and configure the node. And then finally, uh, you're able to dispense funds with a new uh, Betanet dispenser. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, so the first thing I want to show is developer.algorand.org, uh, where we have a Betanet landing page, as you can see right here as well as uh, a link at the bottom to go ahead and get started. So on the getting started page, this is what we'll see here. We're going to go through and create a node directory, download the node software, update the node software, switch the networks, configure the node, and then restart it and dispense some funds. So that's the uh, plan here. So what I've already done here is I've created a node folder and a beta net uh, folder. It's empty at the moment. So step one is complete. Now going back to the download node software section, this is where you're going to install a node if you have not already done so. If you have, you can skip this step. Uh, for example, it, uh, installing on a Mac here, you're simply going to make an install directory. Uh, go ahead and copy the unzip the uh, package down here and do the install. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and do this update command to go ahead and uh, get the stable version of the node and then go ahead and start the node using the uh, goal command right there. So this process takes about 10 minutes. It's not too bad, but that's the uh, first step that you need to do. And what we're gonna do next is then uh, actually get to the meat of it here and update the node software for uh, Betanet. So what we need to do is see if we have any current nodes running. This is a handy command to determine that. And there we can see I do indeed have one running out of my data directory. So if you just did an install and you started it up, you may see that as well. And so if you do see that, just go ahead and uh, put in the stop command to stop that particular node. And if you rerun that grep, uh, you will see that it is now uh, no longer there. So the next thing we want to do is update the software. So if you just installed a new node, uh, then you want to go ahead and follow step 3A. And so what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the install directory and we're going to run our initial update right here with the beta flag and specify the beta net directory. So this will create a, a copy over the beta software that's needed in the node directory and then uh, you want to switch over to the node directory and then run the update um, for the beta net um, data directory. And so that'll pull down the latest version of a goal for you there too. And then uh, if you do have an existing node, then we're just you need to just run this command twice. And so that'll be the update command. So we'll do that uh, right now. So if you're installing a new node from within your install directory, run the upgrade script for the first time with the beta flag as follows. And so the first time that we'll go ahead and run the install there. Then we want to switch over to the node directory and run the update command again to pull down the latest version of goal. And if you are updating your software for existing nodes, you simply just run out of the node directory 
uh, twice the update command that you see here. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's we'll just run it one more time to get the current version of goal. Okay. So there we go. So that's all completed. And the next thing maybe you want to try to do is to just start it up, see if this actually runs. So let's go ahead and do that. and successfully started and then we can also see a uh, status on this one thing to note here look at this you got this says devnet what we want to do is actually get to the point where we're running beta net instead of devnet and so that's the next step that we're going to do here uh, to do that so i'm going to go ahead then and stop the uh, the node so the next thing we want to do then is go ahead and copy the genesis files over and so the Genesis files, you can see right here, are updated. And there's one that's in the beta directory. And that's the one we're going to end up copying over to your node in the beta net folder. So now that's been updated. And the next thing we want to do is go ahead and uh, rename the configuration file that's sitting in the folder. So if we take a look at this folder, you can see there's a JSON uh, file here, .example. So we're just gonna get rid of the .example and make it a config JSON file. And then that will be actively uh, used for this beta net data directory. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and copy that over. And now you can see that that particular uh, new file has been uh, created. So that's the one you want to go ahead and edit. And there's one setting that we need to go down to, and it's this one right here. We want to change algorand.network to algodev.network. So now let's go back to um, the terminal and then go ahead and start our new node. Well, there we have it. We're started. We can go ahead and try to get the status again. And we can see we're still syncing up to block 412. Uh, so as soon as you see this uh, sync time get down to be consistently zero, then you will we'll be synced as well. So what we want to do now is dispense uh, algos to an account so that we can start doing some transactions. And uh, we do have a beta net dispenser to do that, but let's go ahead and just create a wallet first and then an account, and then I'll show you the dispenser. So here is the wallet command. Let's go ahead and create that new wallet. All right, and let's go ahead and take a look at that phrase. So you might wanna copy that down for later. And uh, typically you would not share that with anybody. And something else I like to do is I like to uh, make a default wallet. So uh, I don't have to have the DSW command. So now it's been set to the default. So the next thing we want to do here is create an account. And we're going to take this account. And we're going to go out to the beta net dispenser. Paste in that address, and we'll go ahead and dispense it. So that was a success. So here we're going to go ahead and just uh, take a look at what we got and do an account list. And now you can see there is an amount that got transferred in successfully. So to summarize, what we showed you here today was an overview in the Algorand Beta Net Network, uh, where the newest protocol level features will be available for public testing and feedback. And we showed you how to create a node directory as well as download node software, and then update the node software for beta net. Uh, so switch networks as well, configure the node, and finally dispense some funds. So enjoy your Algorand Beta Net experience. Thank you.